Sandy Charles of Fan Rag Sports, joined by Yankees prospect James Caprillion. Okay, James, after the trade deadline last year, all anyone could talk about in the Bronx were the baby bombers. How badly do you want to really anchor that, but on the, p the pitching side? I think it's huge. I mean, um, obviously, I feel like we had a you know good core group of young guys who was already there um, after the trade deadline. Deadline, like you said, uh, we were able to pick up a lot of other guys who were talented athletes. So uh, I think we got a good you know young group of baby bombers coming up. Um, <laughs> but yeah, it should be fun to watch. And you know, obviously, as a pitcher and, and one of the few guys uh, who's kind of in that group, uh, hopefully, um, you know, I want to you know do what I can to lead these guys and uh, give these guys a chance to win every day. Now, I did read that in high school you had a .96 ERA and 250 strikeouts. Is that true? Yeah. And how is that possible? I had a good, ca <laughs> I had a good catcher and uh, a good team behind me, and um, they made it easy for me. All I had to do was go out there and, and pitch and show up once a week and throw and just try and do my job. Now, that was high school. In college, you did play for UCLA, and you were part of the first UCLA no-hitter against U of A, Arizona. Yeah. <laughs> what oh, was that moment know. like? No. Okay. <laughs> no, I'm not. Um, it, was, it was special. I mean, to know that there had never been um, a no-hitter thrown at UCLA before was pretty cool. Um, being a part of the first one um, was special. Um, obviously, any time you can do something special at UCLA because there's such a rich, rich history mm -hmm. um, in sports and, and the success that's you know, con gone through the program as well, um, it's a pretty special moment for me and, and the rest of the team. Do you have a favorite UCLA alum? Jackie Robinson. It's yeah. got to be Jackie. <laughs> like you gotta it's got to be Jackie. Yeah, Jackie. I mean, he changed, he changed the game for, for everybody. Um, he broke the color barrier, and uh, obviously he's a four-sport athlete at UCLA and um, really just a, a special person. How would you describe your repertoire? Um, I'm a four-pitch guy, um, <laughs> fastball, slider, curveball, changeup, but uh, in a humble way, and I feel confident throwing any pitch in any count to any hitter. Um, I like to attack guys, pitch to my strengths, not other guys' weaknesses, and mm -hmm. um, it's me versus you on the mound, and you know I'm going to come at you like a bulldog. <laughs> That's just what it is. Have you been working on anything specific out here in AFL, like a bulldog? Um, nothing specific. I mean, being hurt throughout the year, mm -hmm. um, unfortunately, I had to, you know, shut it down. So for me right now, it's kind of getting the rust off, mm -hmm. cleaning things up mechanically and, and just getting innings in and, and getting back and knowing we're healthy. Now you did. You're coming off injury. How is that going in your elbow? How is all that going? It's been smooth. No problems. Um, I'm healthy. I take my vitamins every day. <laughs> um, I'm ready to go. So it's good. Now we got to talk a little different. Florida spring training. Arizona AFL, what's been the best part of being out here in Arizona? The weather's beautiful, um, bus rides are short, which is nice, it's <laughs> always a plus, and the stadiums have, have been really nice uh, so far too, so it's been good. Do you have any superstitions or anything you have to do before you pitch? Uh, I got some, but <laughs> no. nothing crazy. I mean, I, put my, I always put my right shoe on before my left, okay. just the basic stuff like that, but nothing like, I wouldn't say anything too crazy that I have to do. I know there's some weird superstitions out there, but I'm not <laughs> jumping onto too many of those, to be honest. If you had a bad outing, then would you take left shoe first? No, I'm sticking with the okay. right. <laughs> I had success with the right, so I'm staying with it. I got to trust it, you know? It's tough, but it's part of it. Two more weeks of AFL. Any plans for off season? What are you going to be doing? Yeah, I'm actually, um, I'll probably take about two weeks off completely um, of lifting and throwing stuff. Probably take a couple months off of throwing. Um, I'm living in Newport Beach, California with Tyler Wade and uh, another kid, Garrett Stubbs, who's on the other team out here on Glendale. Um, and I'm going to be training at uh, my agency's complex with, with some uh, highly touted baseball players. So it'll be good to pick their brains again and uh, train and be around a good group of guys. And not bad in Newport Beach. So you go from Arizona yeah. to Newport <laughs> yeah. Beach. I'm a little spoiled, I know. <laughs> it's a good life. Thank you so much. Okay. James Caprillion, Sandy Charles, FanRag Sports.